Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. On the last episode, we completed the third dungeon of the game, which was technically our fourth. Yeah, anyway, now we're going to be going uh, in, in uh, the proper order now, but... Anyway, so let's not waste any more time. We're going to head off to the fifth uh, palace of the game, of the Dark World, actually. Um, and I think the fastest way to get there is just... Oh wow, that's not even right. <laughs> what am I doing? Alright, hopefully this is a good spot. Anyways, let's work back to the light world, um, and play our flute that we got a few episodes back. Um, I don't know why it wasn't going. Ugh. Anyways, let's head to, uh, towards spot 8, uh, because that's the closest location, in my opinion, to, uh, the next, the entrance to the next, oh, dang it, uh, the entrance to the next palace. Anyway, the uh, entrance to the next palace is only accessible by going to the this island right here. And if you remember, um, this is the same island uh, where you could upgrade uh, your arrows and bombs. Anyway, pick up the black stone and head on in, because this is the entrance. That's the only way to get into the... Uh... Ah, dang it, I don't have my uh, beam sword anymore, but... Anyway, let's just head in. Level 5, Ice Palace. Alright, uh... Good for a warning, make sure you have a decent stock of magic and bombs in this dungeon, because um, uh, both are pretty much required. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that enemy right there is, can only be defeated by using the fryer rod, so uh, make sure you have magic. Anyways, let's read this telepathic tile. Listen to, listen to my words, Link. The magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. Magic flames? Well, obviously it means the fire rod, but anyway. Let's continue on. Um... Ooh. So yeah, this is the ice dungeon of the game, which is pretty nice. Uh, thing about me is I like ice slash snow kind of environments, but I hate uh, the ice slash snow mechanics. Uh, the slippery floor, you know, it just uh, it makes it ridiculous. But I do like snow areas in games, so uh, it, it's a double-edged sword, pretty much. So anyway, let's keep moving on. Uh, this place, however, hmm, yeah, we want to be going down. Um, yeah, this place is chock full with, uh, these guys. I don't remember what the name they are. I call them ducks, because they look like ducks to me. Um, and icy, uh, icy floor tiles, so, you know, get used to it. Anyway, I think this is the compass? Uh, if I can get to it. Yeah, there we go. Found the compass, blah blah blah. Heard it a million times, let's go. But anyway, uh, little word about this dungeon is it can be a little bit complex. Um, this is the part in the game where uh, these dungeons start to become, you know, very uh, multi-leveled and you just have to go out of your way sometimes to figure things out. Um, but uh, I think I should, I think I have a good enough route. Ooh, trying not to get hit by this anti-fairy, but I'm failing, so that's okay. And uh, I don't know why I was killing those duck guys. I mean, it's good to get them out of the way. I believe this is a dead... Yeah. Alright. I need to go here, unless you want to get a fairy. Um, but I have plenty right now. So anyway, so yeah, this dungeon uh, is where this um, where the uh, dungeons start getting a little bit tricky and a little bit complex. Uh, I don't know. This one's kind of ridiculous. I think there's like seven floors you can go through. Oh yeah, in this room. Uh, besides the annoying jellyfish guys. Um, you have to manipulate this, uh, orb, uh, this red and blue switch, pretty much, to get anywhere. Um, what you want to do is just put a bomb by it while the blue stones are down, stones, uh, the blocks are down, and that's, uh, that's how you get through this. Uh, uh, I've seen other strategies to do this, but bombs are probably the easiest. Anyway, so, ooh, telepathic tile. You cannot destroy the Skeleton Knight with a sword alone. When he collapses, he is vulnerable to another weapon. Yeah, he is. Uh, and this is what, he, what uh, they were talking about. This is the Skull Knight. Basically, you want to slash him with your sword. Ah, that was a complete failure. And then place a bomb right after you do it. Because uh, that is the only way in this game that I know, uh, know of to defeat those guys. Um, I don't believe they die from the Fire Rod or any other uh, item or weapon. Anyway, so take at least Skull Knights. Uh, and move on. Whew. Okay, it's full hook shot. Because this room can be a little annoying because you want to be getting a key Ooh. and not running into those spiky blocks like I'm failing to do pretty much. Ooh. Ah, there's the key! Ah, damn, I am getting trolled here. Okay, let's just move on. 
We have what we want. Don't mess with the um, red blue switch. Just leave it as is because you can see we need the red blocks to be down. Ah, let's try to avoid that fire pillar. Yeah, there we go. And let's use our hook. Wow, I did not mean to hook that. Anyway, just try to hook that skull pot next time. Ah, all right, let's wait for this thing. Yeah, there you go. Hopefully I won't die in this dungeon. Um, you know, if so, I have three fairies stocked up, I believe. Anyway, let's keep uh, traversing. Oh yeah, I didn't even need to mess with those guys. Um, doors automatically open. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> anyway, more ducks. More ice. More ducks. Which, uh, ugh. I believe these guys take at least uh, two hits. Two regular swings with your sword, so... Um, and in that room, it's impossible, I believe, to get ooh, to get all five uh, with one. Um, wow, I'm completely blanking. Anyway, I think we want to go to the left, maybe. Yeah. Let's check out what's up there first. However, um, uh, yeah, we actually want to be going this way. Uh, I've been I've been blanking. Uh, dang it! Quit shooting me. Ooh, I blocked it. Cool. Anyway, so this is definitely where we'll be going. Another telepathic tile. Link, you must not exhaust your magic power. You will need of it. You'll have need of it ahead. Yeah. If you do not possess the medicine of magic, then proceed with caution. Do not overexert yourself. Good tip. Anyway, so basically, like I said at the beginning of this dungeon, uh, make sure you have a good stock of magic. But I think they are pretty generous in this dungeon, so I wouldn't worry about it. Ugh. I'm trying to remember what's what's past this uh, pillar right here. Yeah, I'm gonna just go to the right. Ugh, I'm going off instinct right now where to go. Because uh, it's been a little while since I've done this dungeon, but I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Ugh, come on, I want to go to the other side. And uh, the hook shot is excellent at taking out these jellyfish guys, so don't, you know, don't use your sword. Um, ooh, this room. You gotta be quick! Ooh. And you have to be, uh, you have to dodge those things. It's not too bad, though. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's deal with these. Good thing about these jellyfish is they don't spawn little uh, little ones. But anyway, uh, switch. Go back. And I believe this is the... Hmm. I was missing something, but I guess not. Uh, let's go back to the other side and check out what's there. Uh, pretty sure I'm going the right way. And uh, by the way, that spot to the right is fake, so don't waste your bombs. Uh, I don't know why they put it there. Uh, I guess to, just to troll you, I suppose. But anyway. Ooh. More skeleton knights. But uh, it helps to have um, your mom's ridiculously upgraded uh, at this point in the dungeon. Ooh. Um, I mean, I obviously have way too many than I need, but, you know, I, I'm trying to do 100% in this game, so that was just one of the things I had to, I had to do. Yeah. You don't have to, but it's nice, because uh, I don't think I'll ever have to go look for bombs in this game, unless... Uh, something absurd happens. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, that tongue over there. Uh, may not look like it, but you can actually pull it. Uh, and it will open certain doors. Alright, map. Got the map. Ugh, map, map, map. Anyway. Oh yeah, that just opens that door. Okay, basically reinforce what I was saying. And oh, uh, we got the map, we got the compass. So, last item on our checklist is the big key. You got the big key. This is the master key of the dungeon. Blah, blah, blah. Good stuff. Let's uh, go back. As you can see, we're back at the dead end that we uh, were a little while ago. Um, that's okay. Uh, I think I'm going to try to get a fairy here from this anti-fairy. Because I have a feeling these guys are going to be annoying. Uh, I don't know. But I believe this is the only dungeon you're going to find these guys. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Give me the fairy. Give me the fairy. Alright, I'm going to get out my hookshot just, just in case. Because I've had fairies run off on me and it was just... Uh, it was not fun. Ooh, I think. Uh, leave me alone! Yeah, okay. I believe we're gonna be heading up again. Um, again, same strategy. Uh, this dungeon, you have to do a lot of backtracking, uh, especially if you don't know your way around it. Uh, you will get a little bit stuck, but just follow pretty much what I'm doing, uh, and hopefully we won't get lost. Uh, try not to get hit by a bomb, but, you know, the jellyfish are getting in my way. <laughs> But anyway, so now we're back in this room. We gotta take care of these guys. Nice pot will do instead of a sword slash, so utilize that as, as you wish. Um, and get ready to go to the next room. All right.
Alrighty. Next part. Mm. This place again. Uh, it helps use the hookshot not only to take out these enemies, but while you're using it, you don't move. So regardless of what direction the floor is going... Ah. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Okay. Yeah, regardless of the direction the floor is going, you'll never move when you have the hookshot out. Uh, you also won't get damaged. Ah, if I could show it off. Uh, I think I will. Alright. Watch. Yeah, see, so you can pretty much just go through anything that causes you harm. Um, anyway, so now that we have that, we actually want to take a room uh, that we didn't go to before, and we're getting to that now. Uh, again, a lot of this dungeon is just backtracking. Yeah, there we go, four. You can never get five in this room for some reason. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just the... Uh, how far the, uh, the sword slash reaches? Not slash, but... Um, hmm... I'm trying to think where this room to my right goes. Hmm. Anyways, let's go to the right. Ah. Okay, that's where that went. Yeah, and I think we want to take these stairs down here because this is the room we did not go in. Um. Ah, stupid fire pillar. Ah. I almost got lost in this dungeon, but I think we're good now. Because we definitely do not want to skip the uh, uh, the treasure of this uh, dungeon, because it's going to make life for me uh, so much simpler. Uh, anyway, bomb that spot on the floor. That's the only one that's bombable. Uh, and let's take our treasure for this item. What is it? You found the blue mail. This armor reduces the damage you take from enemies. Yep, pretty much an armor upgrade. Uh, and we also get a new colored cap. So, pretty nice. Anyway, so this is... I think uh, it does half damage, or um, enemies do half damage now. So anyway, now that we have a big key, ooh, yeah, I'm not going to mess with them. Uh, we can go in the big key door, and um, oh, leave me alone. Yeah, I have a key. Okay, I'm just going to skip these guys. Man, I'm taking a good amount of damage, but again, ooh, let's get another fairy. I love fairies, and anti-fairies, consequ consequentially, blah. We need a key. Hmm. Where did I miss a key from? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Man, here we go. Getting lost in the ice dungeon. <laughs> nah, but anyways, there should be one around here. Um. Maybe to the right? Where's the light? Oh, yeah. There is a key in here. Okay. Yeah, I was... I was uh, I was kind of scratching my head there for a second. I was like, I don't, uh, I don't remember where I didn't go yet. Anyway, let's go back to that door that was uh, that I just opened, the big key door. So I'm pretty sure we want to go to the. Um, <laughs> look at this Stalfos knight, uh, or skeleton knight. Uh, oh yeah, you can come back in this room and get more fairies, which is nice, but uh, a little redundant because there's actually a, a place in this uh, dungeon that you can get more fairies. Um, yeah, there we go. You want to come in this room and hit that sw switch once? Um, because we're actually going to be backtracking. Okay, let's get our fourth fairy here. Ugh. Off I can get it. There we go. Let's take our net out. Got a fairy? Nice. Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you take those holes to my left and my right, they'll lead you down to fairy fountains. Uh, so anyway... Let's go to the door we just got the key in, um, and go down. Oh, I thought this door wasn't locked, but I guess so. Oof. There you go. Let's uh, not waste any more time. Ugh, ice mechanics! Ugh. They will be my bane, but anyway. Um. <clears throat> Alright. But let me see if this works. Ah, dang it. Not what I wanted. Anyways, let's get past the flame pillar, and pretty much we're going to be backtracking once again. Um, is this another key? Yeah, okay. I was about to say, I thought we got everything for this dungeon, uh, in terms of the, uh, um, the little items. Another key in here, right? Oh, never mind, I have one. Dirt. What am I thinking? Anyway, kill the enemies, leave them, do what you want. Um, I believe one would be going to the left. This dungeon is not very straightforward at all, not initially, um, but once you need know where you need to go, uh, should be okay. Yeah, and let's fall down this hole. Alright. 
Almost done. Ah, oh, that blue guy's gonna get me! Whew, just barely. That was close. Anyway, ignore the, um, the whack-a-mole guys. And let's restock on some magic, because, uh, magic's... Ah, oh, magic's nice to have in this dungeon. Required, actually. Um, <laughs> anyway. Don't mess with the enemies, or go to the other side, because the other side's pretty much just, uh, another opportunity to troll you, uh, I like to say, but... This is where we want to be headed. Let's take out the magic hammer. Pick up this giant... I guess it's a giant steel block, I don't know. Link's pretty powerful, then, I guess, if we can lift that. And let's fall down in. Because... We are at the boss. Alright. And pull out your fire rod, because we are an ice temple, so therefore... The boss has to be some kind of ice enemy. And you want to whittle away at the uh, ice using your um, fire rod. I don't know how many you have to do to get rid of this guy, but... Just keep pounding away, because he doesn't move. Uh, and once you enter this stage, just pretty much do spin slashes. Uh, and the only thing that can really hurt you is what's falling down from the ceiling. Uh, and these uh, giant... I don't know, look like suds to me. I don't even know the name of this boss, but... Uh, this stage is really easy. Um, actually, this boss is just easy. And I think your fire rod actually does more damage than your sword. Don't quote me. If I can use it. Ah. Alright. For some reason, my A button's not responding. I don't know why. There we go. He's through. He's finished. And his heart's way up there. Alright. Let's get the crystal and move on. Alrighty. Fifth dungeon complete. Man, that didn't take that much time at all. Hmm. I figured it'd at least take, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes? You know, maybe I'd run into some kind of enemy that would just heckle me or... You know, whatever, but... Alright. Link, thanks to you, I was able to escape the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you! Uh... Oh yeah, I found out you can kind of skip the text a little bit, so... They say the Hylian Hyli the Hyli people mastered mysterious powers, as did the Seven Sages. But the blood of the Hylia has grown over thin over time, and we who carry the blood of the sages do not possess our ancestors' powers either. But our power will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the sages. Perhaps there is still a way in which we can help you. But there is a little time before the gate at the castle link and the world opens completely. If you defeat Ganon, this world will vanish, and the Triforce will wait for a new master. I believe in you. Good luck. Do you understand? You betcha. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Awesome. Schwing! Alrighty, let's take out this guy. Um, I can do my inch feel. But anyway. Alrighty, we're done with the fifth dungeon. Ready to move on to number six and number seven. And then take on, you know, the end of the game. The end game, pretty much. <laughs> so anyways, this is all I wanted to do this part. Uh, sorry it's so short, but I thought this dungeon would take a little bit longer. So... Anyway, uh, on the next next part, we will uh, travel to the sixth dungeon and hopefully complete it. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Azarius92, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.